All right, YouTube, let me tell you about this guy. So let's just call him Max for this story, just so that I protect his identity. I'm going to say the real name of one other person because I don't give a crap. So uh, there's some girl named Leah that I met up uh, with on Tinder, right? So this was the situation. Me and this girl Leah have been talking for quite a while on um, Tinder. But like uh, more specifically, we trailed off to using the phone and uh, Snapchat or whatever. And um, this girl I personally thought was quite immature. I am 24 years old. And this this happened several months ago. Uh, I think back in November. Um, something like that. Maybe October. Um, but she... Yeah, I think it was November. Uh, she wanted what was i gonna say oh yeah yeah so leah um i think she was 19 years old yeah something like that um but she went to a college and then she dropped out uh and she just constantly wanted to party and whatever uh and so we finally decided to meet, but it was some 18 plus club um, in the Boston area that she wanted to meet me at. Uh, so like I, she said like it was fine if I brought friends or whatever. And she said she would be with some friends too. Uh, and I was like, sure. Yeah, sounds good. So I brought along two of my friends, a guy and a girl. And she happened to be with a guy and a girl too so um yeah like when I made it there I like messaged her or like before I was going there like we were like in contact or whatever um but then when I made it there I said oh yeah I just arrived with uh like my friends blah blah this that this that but she just straight up did not answer me when we made it there so it was all very strange why she just suddenly stopped answering so, uh, then I happened to bump into her there at the, inside the 18 plus club and we like kind of greeted each other and met each other or whatever, but she was all over the place and energetic and she was a little bit tipsy. She just seemed like someone I just didn't want to deal with. Very immature, disrespectful, everything. She just barely proper barely introduced herself and just like then was kept on like going around the club and uh, being all over the place kept on coming back here and there and stuff like that uh but uh what i decided instead is like i started having good conversation but it was uh because um of that guy max uh he started conversation up with me uh he's the one who was with leah the guy uh, but the the girl that was with Leah decided to start like dancing with random other guys or whatever. My two friends were just on the side, just dancing and talking to each other. So it was basically me and Max interacting with each other only, you know. Um, so uh, basically, this guy he was the only one there at the club that was. I'd say forcing it with his attire. He was wearing, he was trying to look all professional, businessy, and he was wearing like a suit talking, and he was like talking about stocks, Bitcoin, like all kind of business stuff, right? So uh, I know when people are legit or forcing it or whatever, I knew he was forcing it. I knew he, there, there was something up. So he was saying how he like went to Miami and he was like, it, he, he, he's one of those people, you know, that like go, who would like join those Ponzi schemes or like those kinds of industries and like not realize and or realize that it's a scam or a scheme. Uh, and also, yeah, yeah, he, he just doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing and, and, uh, you know, uh, but, so 
he was like saying how he like got kicked out of college. Uh, I forget what college he went to. Uh, it was somewhere in the Boston area, um, and that. Uh, and then I, I was like, ask. I decided to ask. Oh, if you don't mind me asking, why did you get kicked out of college? Uh, and he was like, Oh, it's a long story. Like, pretty much. Uh, he ended up like. No, actually, I ended up asking that after the club because the close the club ended up closing an hour earlier than it was supposed to. That's why I was like talking to him and not really caring about the time. Uh, so it closed at I think midnight when it was supposed to close at one. So everyone had to leave. And then outside the club, I continued conversation with him. And then I ended up deciding to ask him like, yeah, uh, why did you get kicked out of college? Just wondering. And so, mind you, I just met this kid. And also I can tell whenever people are lying or not or one-sided or whatever, I could tell he was one-sided and that he wasn't that uh, well, uh, mentally. So, uh, the reason why he got kicked out of college was cause he got arrested, uh, for domestic abuse, uh, kind of thing or whatever, uh, for threatening his ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend. Uh, so basically what it was from what I understand is that, um, he just like, I guess, was angry that his ex started dating some other guy and was just basically harassing and or, but mainly like the bad part was he threatened them through like text or whatever. So she decided to bring it up to the police and report him or whatever. But the thing he didn't seem to understand is that there's certain things that you just cannot legally say, especially a stupid way in doing it is if you do it in writing like that, right? Uh, threats can be illegal, especially when it comes to a situation of someone you used to date or do date. It's unacceptable. So that's what he happened to do. And that's why he got arrested and got kicked out. So, uh, now what he's, he, and that didn't happen too long before. So he was just about to start the uh, court process or whatever. Uh, that literally happened a few weeks before then, I think, uh, or a couple weeks, maybe something like that. It was quite recent. Uh, so like his dad bailed him out. Uh, he was only there in jail for like a night. Uh, and yeah, now he's going to have to deal with the whole court process. Um, and she obviously has evidence with the text and whatever, but he didn't seem to think it was a big deal and thought it was ridiculous and that they're exaggerating, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, is you just don't do that stuff. And especially you just don't threaten people through messages or any sort of writing, you know? So I just want to share this story because I thought it was interesting that I just met this guy literally for two hours and he shares this story. Um, but so, um, yeah, hope justice is made and hope he realizes not to do stuff like that and just control himself, you know. So that is that story. Check out my other stories. There's been lots of crazy, weird, interesting stuff that happened in my life. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.